This morning questions are growing about what's happening in the skies all above North America. Yeah, in the last eight days, four flying objects have been shot down by the U.S. military. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol joining us live here in the studio with more on what the Biden administration is saying about these objects here. Dana Marie. Well, the U.S. military shot down another ident unidentified object on Sunday yesterday at President Biden's order. Now, according to the Pentagon, the craft was flying at 20,000 feet, this time over Michigan's Upper Peninsula when U.S. fighter jets took it down. We were cleared to engage the target in eastern uh, Upper Peninsula of Michigan uh, over land and ultimately down uh, the object at this point. Uh, about 15 nautical miles east of the Upper Peninsula in Lake Huron. Now you just heard from General Glenn Van Heck, a commander. Now Pentagon officials say the octagon-shaped object shot down Sunday was not a military threat, but rather a flight hazard. But in Alaska on Friday, the U.S. took down an object said to be the size of a small bus. The Department of Defense says the object shot down on Friday didn't resemble the suspected Chinese spy balloon taken down last week. And then on Saturday, approximately 100 miles from the Canada, U.S. Canada at a border in central Yukon. Following a call from Prime Minister Justin Trudeau over in Canada, Biden authorized that U.S. aircraft to take down a new high altitude object and a U.S. F-22 shot it down with a sidewinder missile. Now officials aren't sure or aren't saying exactly where these objects came from or what they were doing. They say those three were just smaller, look a little bit different, and flew at a lower altitude than the suspected Chinese spy balloon shot down a little more than a week ago. Now, the Department of Defense officials say they've been more closely scrutinizing the U.S. airspace in recent weeks, which might explain the increase in activity and finding things. Now, over on Capitol Hill, lawmakers are considering tougher regulations to stop U.S. technology from getting into the hands of Chinese military. So I'm, poor, I'm sure we're going to be hearing a lot more from them coming up.